we need more people like you in the show. They're like, there's money over there, give her money! Because all of the drag queens can't see without their glasses on, so we're all like walking around, and then I realized I started dancing and I felt my foot like hit the edge, and I'm like, I'm on the edge of glory. But I'm gonna fall, and all these bitches with their cameras out are gonna be like, yeah, bitch, I saw you fall! And I'll be like, you did. And I'll take your money. How are you, Mom? You look great. You look better in person than in pictures, and you look pretty goddamn good in pictures. No, I'm honest. And thanks for the five. Um, yeah. So, for those of you that don't know, because you just thought you were coming to a random drag show, it is my friend Cameron's birthday, and I also made that up. It's not his birthday, but I didn't see him on his birthday, so come here. Today, today, Lil Cam Assault, that's what I'm calling you now, Lil Cammy, Lil Cammy Assault, uh, he um, is to be used and abused and horribly humiliated in front of his mother. It was this gentleman. This is your what? You, your parents look incredibly young. I'm just saying. For as horribly old as you look, your parents look like they could be your slightly older siblings. So I'm not mad. Clearly you should take a cue from your parents and drink more water. But we're at a gay bar, so by all means, support your local drag staff and your bartenders and pay your, or shop for your mom. Do you drink? What, what are you doing? I've had like four. Okay. You're, had, will you do a shot with me? No. Even if it's like... Even if it's like a... To, yeah, I, I don't do... I'm not a shot girl, trust me. The shot you're gonna get is gonna be like... Water and lemon. And I'm like, mmm. But it's so strong. It's like fireball or something. Yeah, yeah. Last night there was this horrible girl over there that's like... Well, you, know, you can sit down, I'm sorry. Uh, this horrible girl was like, my ass, your child, they brought fireball. And it's like, ugh. And I kick it off, this is a drag queen trick. I'm giving it to all of you because there's gonna be a drunk girl that's like, let's do fireball drop. And you're gonna be like, ugh, oh yeah, Robbie said. So you dip your finger in the shot, and then when everybody's like, yeah, yeah, bitch, and they do that, you go, and you take that little bit of the whiskey on your finger and go, and you're like, Oh. Spicy, it hurts. Cinnamon. And they're like, yeah, girl, queen! And then they like shablam and you're like, uh, you know? I am so impressed. I know, no, I don't want your drinks. Or those drinks, I mean. I'm just impressed that you were like walking through a very busy crowd like that. You can go. Alcohol is more much more important. So, how many of y'all are watching RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9 right now? And how many are seeing RuPaul's Drag Race for the first time with this current season? You are so full of shit, the toilets are jealous. We're on to you, bitch. <laughs> You've got your head so far up RuPaul's ass, we don't know where you end and where she begins. Uh, it's fine. They don't know each other. But the point is... Our next girl that's about to come out on stage is from the current season. If you don't know what RuPaul's Drag Race is, Google it right now. She's on the television screen, as you can see, and she is wearing the cutest motherfucking outfit just behind that curtain. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further... Did I grab my drink? Okay. Don't want to leave that for her. All right, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, season nine, Queen Gore personality that she is. Give it up for the Shady Coon Lady, Shay. <laughs> Sorry, I left my own Kool-Aid joke. Okay. Uh, buy her shirt, by the way. It has a Kool-Aid man on it. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Shay Coon. 